Well, thank you for joining us today. This is our video about our fragrance trends for 2024, and I'm joined by Anthony, our fragrance evaluator, to talk through some of the fragrances we believe that are going to be big for 2024. So our first trend uh, is going to be called Mixed Emotions. And we're finding customers are looking to find strong emotional responses from uh, their fragrances. And we see this in the popularity of aromatherapy. Um, so for this trend, we've got notes such as iris, violet and vanilla to try and give that sort of dreamy impression and find those emotions. Fantastic. So now we're going to smell one of the fragrances uh, associated to this trend. So this one's called Hope Blue. If you could tell us a bit about this fragrance, Anthony. Definitely. So um, this has that, as I mentioned, some of the trending notes. Um, so we've got some violet and iris in this one. We're mixed with a bit of saffron as well. That gives that a bit of spicy effect oh, uh, wow, and yeah. makes it more invigorating. Mm. It's also quite gentle and soft in the background, so you can feel that vanilla and it gives you that dreamy sort of impression. I can imagine that in like body mists and, and pillow mists and yeah. things that are going to make you sleep better yeah. and feel feel calmer. A pillow mist would be perfect for this. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. And onto our next fragrance trend, which is called Heart of Gold. Now, gold doesn't have a scent, but we are looking at the different fragrances that will give that element of opulence and sensuality. Yeah, so we've got a lot of different fragrance notes which can give that impression. Um, obviously amber is very popular in the market, we all know this already, but if this is mixed with um, some oud, which we're seeing from the uh, sort of eastern um, impression, um, and like rich opulent flows like jasmine and two rose as well, really gives this luxurious impression. Okay, so we're now going to smell a fragrance selected for this trend. This is called Gold, and Anthony's going to tell us a little bit about it. Yes, yeah, so this can be kind of categorised as our like floriental elixir. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the spicy Ooh, wow. notes on top of nutmeg and saffron. Mm -hmm. um, but like we mentioned, some rich flowers in the heart, mm -hmm. um, backed by that um, amber and musk. It's it, very much opulent, it's sparkling, but it's also got a real deepness to it as yeah. well, isn't it? Yeah, the amber isn't as much present this one, it's more about those spices which mm. you kind of combine. It's beautiful. Very much a fine fragrance, but also I, I can imagine some sort of kind of room room sprays or kind of room spray, sort of, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe some luxurious body wash, maybe. Mm, but, absolutely. Yeah. Mm, fabulous. So our next trend is called natural healing. And this is all about our connection to the natural world and emb embodying ourselves with nature. Yeah. So we've seen for a couple of years now. Um, the popularity of sustainability and eco conscient scents. Um, but people are trying to find new ways to, to interact with nature as well. And one of the things we saw was this forest bathing um, uh, yeah, exercise which people do. So we tried to encapsulate that in some of these fragrances as well. Okay, so we're going to smell this one. This one's called Rain Moss. There's, there's earthy, there's very earthy notes in this one, isn't there? Yeah, the name really encapsulates everything about this fragrance. Uh, you really feel that sort of damp, oak mossy effect of the forest in the, in the scent, um, but it touches up aquatic element as well. Mm. Yeah, it's very kind of nurturing nature, kind of enveloping you in the woods. And, yeah. You feel you could be bathing within the forest. <laughs> It, sound, it does sound good, it does sound good. <laughs> and what, what would we expect to put that in? What, what, what would that be suitable for? Um, we've seen sort of these scents popular in candles, um, okay. kind of associated again with that aromatherapy um, trend. So candles, weed diffusers, um, maybe some body washes as well. Mm. So the next fragrance one we're looking at is called Modern Love. And this is all about Gen Z, that tricky age. And we're looking at different fragrances that are gourmand, but also very fru fruity and um, flavoursome. And let's take it away. Sure. Um, so yeah, a mixture of a uh, yeah, very sweet vanilla and with some rich florals and those fruits, uh, especially um, cherry, which has been really popular over the last uh, couple of years. 
As it happens, the fragrance we've selected for this trend is called Hot Cherry. So let's give this a little bit. Wow. That's a, that's a big fragrance, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's a really, really strong fragrance. Yeah, you make your presence known with this fragrance, <laughs> I guess you can say. Um, yeah, a luxurious take on, on cherry, mm -hmm. for sure. A lot of vanilla in here. Um, just a touch of rose as well, just to make mm -hmm. it a bit, a bit more sophisticated. I mean, that, that's really, really multifunctional, isn't it? I can see that in a whole range of things. So even you necessarily wouldn't put fine fragrance immediately into some of these things, but actually body sprays, um, antiperspirants, all of that could quite easily, and then going into body washes and creams and lotions, it's, it's very, very multifunctional, I'd say. Definitely, and sometimes you see this with fine fragrances, and we call it a trickle down, where they then um, um, yeah, become part of the sort of body washes and you use cosmetic products. And this is definitely a fragrance which would be trickled down into something like that. Fantastic. So we're on to our fifth uh, fragrance trend, and this one is an oldie but a goodie, but it's we've seen lots more of these, haven't we? Which is the aquatic fragrance trend. And this fragrance trend is called Embrace the Elements, which is all about sea and embracing life and that freshness that you get from being at the, uh, being at the uh, coast. Definitely, so. yeah. Always popular, sort of the, the aquatic scent, um, very unisex in their nature. Um, we try and we're tending to see um, him being reinvented um, by using different sort of notes combined with those aquatic notes. So stuff like seaweed or green tea, um, which will make it more interesting. Fantastic. So this one is called Free Spirit. And so we're, we're looking at freshness and sea breeze and that sort of... Let's have, a, let's have a smell and see what we think. Wow. Now that's what, not what I expected in many ways. I was expecting something really quite, I don't know, um, more sea like, more seaweed maybe, yeah. but actually that's that's actually very, very much more fresh and fruitier than yeah. I would have expected it to be. Yeah, a touch of sea salt in there, it does have that salt impression, mm. but a lot more um, balanced flows mm. in this one. Yeah. Um, with some maybe peony. Um, and there's a gentle touch of the ambergris coming through in the, in the background. And once again, another one that you could see in many, many different uh, forms. I can imagine it in, in kind of room sprays specifically. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And so to our final fragrance trend, which is called Great Endeavours, which is all about the Olympics of 2024, which will be in Paris. And so we're looking at fruity, powerful, invigorating fragrances that uh, make you feel like you can conquer the world. Definitely. Yeah, we have this sort of invigorating citrus and these ones mixed with some spices really giving you that powerful effect. Let's give it a smell. So well, this one is called Glorious. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's not as fruity as I was expecting it. It's very much pared down by the, by the spices that are in here. Yeah, and that fruitiness is coming from the citruses, which mm. give you the invigorating top notes, and but then paired with those spices, and really give you that powerful um, aspect as well. Okay. So it's quite zingy. I can imagine that in like invigorating body washes and, and things like that. Yeah. You have to see it in your like sports body wash or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Well, thank you very much for today, Anthony. It's been great to uh, smell through these. Um, once again, please be aware that we can you can request the Trend ebook to have a look at. And you can request samples of all of these to have a look for yourself and experience yourself. Thank you.